Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you uh, for the upcoming days and week. This is a general reading Capricorn. Feel free to hit the like button to let me know if it has resonated with you here today. And if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community but you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe. This reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Capricorn placements. And to the cross watchers checking in on a Capricorn, please take the messages as they best resonate for you. Otherwise, I do highly recommend a personal booking because it is more specific and suited to what you're currently going through. All the details on how to pre pro proceed forward with the personal reading are in the show more section of this video. Okay Capricorn, I hope you've all been well. Thank you for tuning back into another reading and supporting the channel. Let's dive on in. Let's take a look at the strongest energy surrounding this person's feelings with regards to you for the upcoming days and weeks. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the strongest energy. Ooh, okay. Your person is coming through as the fox. I'm getting strong Virgo here, but it could be any other earth sign like Taurus. We've got Capricorn is an earth sign like yourself, but I am getting strong um, Virgo here. Strong Virgo. I'm also getting a Leo for some of you. A Leo energy. Um, or Libra. I'm getting Libra. I heard spirit say Libra. Okay, so it doesn't have to be any of those signs. This could just be the energy that your person is embodying this week. Okay, so... I feel like this person is very attracted to you. Okay, this person's attracted to you. They're very much drawn to you. Um... I like that the sun energy is surrounding this person. I feel like this person could be coming in this week, perhaps showering you with a lot of attention or giving you a lot of attention, making you feel seen, making you feel validated. Okay, it's some kind of strategy that this person is using to impress you or win you. Okay, the fox is very clever. So I'm getting like this is strategic. I'm not getting manipulative at this stage, although it could be. I mean, you know your situation best. Um, but I'm getting here that this is a strategy that this person is using to charm you, uh, to maybe seduce you, to maybe to get you to fall in love with them um, or to maybe just get you to be in your emotions and feels about them. There could be a sense of this person love bombing you also. Making you feel very special or making you feel like you've got the center of their attention at this time. Making you feel like you're the center of their universe at this time. Okay. Let's expand on this fox. <coughs> could be someone that you work with. I'm getting that. Um, I'm also seeing someone that works in an office. So this person could work in an office. This is like some kind of a businessman. Um, I'm getting like a salesy energy around this person. So they could be like a salesman or a saleswoman. Uh, like I'm seeing corporate around this person. I don't know why that's coming through. It's just the messages coming in here. This is someone who is very good at their job. They're very clever. They're very good. Uh, this is someone who's coming through very witty, very charming. Uh, someone who is coming in being very romantic also. 
Tell us more about this fox spirit. Why is Capricorn's person coming through as the fox? Okay, there you go. More of that yellow energy. This is very positive. Nine of Cups. This person sees you as some kind of a wish fulfillment. Okay, they have this intention here this week to come in and make you very, very happy. Okay, to me, the Nine of Cups, it's a card of happiness. You make them very happy, but they want to make you happy. They want to see that smile on your face. Um, yeah, they want to make you feel like you're on cloud nine. They want to give you that feeling like you're on cloud nine. That's really interesting, very positive. Tell us more, why is this person coming through as the fox? Oh, Knight of Wands. This person is hugely attracted to you, okay? They are really attracted to you. Like I said, this is, this is exactly what I was feeling. Like this person is coming in, they're coming towards you, okay? This person is chasing you. This person is out to seduce you, charm you, and win you over. There is no doubt about it in my mind. Okay, look at this person. This is someone who is really confident about doing this. I do have to say with the Knight of Wands, I mean, we're still in the early stages of the reading, but for some of you, it is going to resonate. There could be like a player-like energy about this person. I mean, players are very confident. They're very confident because they have played the field. They know what to say. They know how to show up. They know what to do. They, they're so confident within themselves that this person is feeling really confident that they can impress you. All right, so... All right, what else have we got here? Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> So this is you, you're showing up in their feelings, you're showing up in their feels, this person is hugely attracted to you and what's more Capricorn is that you are presenting some kind of a challenge. Now this Knight of Wands person loves a good challenge, okay, they love a good challenge and you're presenting as some kind of a challenge and why do I say this is because look at the look at the body language of this queen of pentacles in the light seer's tarot she is unmovable okay she's unmovable her arms are crossed her legs are crossed her eyes are closed she's unfazed she's unbothered and this person is attracted to this about you okay maybe this person is someone who has people kind of like fall at their feet like really really easily but you stand out from the crowd you're different you're not being influenced by this person so easily and that is why they are attracted to you that is why they are drawn to you you're also showing a very mature energy they like that about you um, you may be very independent self-sufficient you don't need this person. You're not someone who is desperate. They love this. I'm telling you right now, Capricorn, I can see it. Okay, I can see it. They love that you're not desperate. Mm. Because they're not saying something to you and you're just like, you know, laughing and falling at their feet. I mean, you enjoy their company, you might find them entertaining. Um, but they're coming through as earth energy. You're an earth sign. So there's something very compatible about you too. Maybe you've got a very strong work ethic. Maybe you're both hard workers. Maybe you're both very successful. But there is a complementary energy here. 
Mm. All right, let's take it. I don't feel like I need to clarify any of those cards. Let's take a look at your feelings towards this person. Spirit, tell us more. How does Capricorn feel towards this person? How does Capricorn feel towards this person? How is Capricorn feeling? Oh, okay. Radio, there's the wheel. Okay, there's the wheel. This is positive. I like this. I like this. It almost feels with the wheel. I'm hearing the word serendipity. This feels serendipitous. Um, it feels like deja vu. I feel like you feel like you're on top of the world with the wheel. Okay, because there's this woman, she's, you know, feeling on top of the world here. Hmm. Yeah, this is how you feel, but you're not showing it outwardly. Okay, you're not showing it outwardly, though. Outwardly, you're, you're feeling cool, calm and collected. Okay, Ace of Swords, see? Um, this person kind of has you spinning. I'm looking at all these wheels and I'm looking at the staircase here in the Ace of Swords. So this person kind of has you spinning in a, in a good way. I feel like right now you can't stop thinking about this person. And I feel like you want to get to know them some more or you've got questions for this person. I just want to, I'm going to clarify, your, your cards are very interesting, Capricorn. Tell us more, um, Spirit, tell us more. Oh my God, there's the world again. So the world and the wheel are giving off the same energy. This person is definitely making your head spin in a good way. You definitely feel like you're the center of this person's universe or you're the center of their attention. Because see, the wheel and the world to me carry the same energy. We've got lots of circles here. See, they're even like embodying the same energy here. You, you feel like you could see yourself coming full circle with this person in the world card. This is someone that you might be meeting online, but not necessarily. I feel like with the world card and the ace of swords, you're saying to me, Rosa, I want to get closer to this person. I want to get to know them because the world can speak to some kind of a distance. Maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like you want to get closer. Why is the wheel here? The Knight of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Wands in reverse. See, you're, you're showing me that you're interested in this person, but you're not showing them that you're overly interested. I feel like you're kind of keeping it contained. Yeah, because at this stage, you're not sure of whether or not this person is playing you or whether they're dead set interested. Okay. Maybe you've experienced this kind of a individual before. 
So you're happy just to take your time to determine if they are for real or not. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Capricorn? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, the King of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're emotionally closed off, but again, I feel like there's a reason for it. Okay, you want to get to know this person, you have questions, I feel like you are doing your due diligence on getting to know this person and to qualify them for someone that you would be willing to open your heart up to or to get closer to. Mm. You're definitely trying to be more head over heart at this time. Okay, I definitely feel like you're trying to not let your emotions get the best of you when it comes to this person. I mean, because they are coming in with this love bombing energy and it's very, it's very easy to get swept up in love bombing but I feel like you've been down this road before. You're saying to me, Rosa, I've dealt with this kind of person before. Um, and because you're coming through as the queen of pentacles, she's got a mature, she's got experience underneath her belt. So like been there, done that. Uh, I'm going to test this person to see if they are the real deal or not. Why is the world card here? Again, with the world card, you could be feeling like you're going to make this person jump through hoops. Okay, you're going to make this person jump through hoops. Because you're not going to let them, yeah, the full. Yeah, because you're not going to, I'm hearing you're not going to make the same mistake twice. Yeah, the full. The full is telling me that you've been tricked before or, you know, you made a foolish mistake in the past, but you're not going to this time. Yeah, you're saying to me, Rosa, it's not worth the risk in jumping straight into this. I'm gonna make this person jump through hoops first. Mm. All right, let's take a look at this person's intentions then. Spirit, angels and guides, what is this person's true intentions when it comes to Capricorn? What is this person's true and real intentions when it comes to Capricorn? Tell us more. Tell us more. What is this person's true and real intentions when it comes to Capricorn? Okay, Ace of Wands. Okay, so the Ace of Wands speaks to some kind of a new beginning. Uh, I, look, I do feel with this fire here in this person's mind, this person is very interested in you, number one. And they have this spark for you. And I feel with the Ace of Wands, they intend to explore this spark. Okay, they intend to explore this connection and see where it takes them. Okay, this is, this is someone who can't stop thinking about you. Tell us more, spirit, tell us more. Yeah, look at this. Page of Wands. They intend to send you that message. They intend to let you know that they're interested in you. The Page of Wands, it's an excitable energy. It's someone who is really, really excited. You've got this person turned on. You've got them really excited to get to know you some more. They intend to flick you that text. They intend to flirt with you, okay? I, I see the Page of Wands as someone who is very flirty, very cheeky a very playful, um, they intend to perhaps lower your defences here. They want to see if they have some kind of effect on you. They, they are looking for indicators of interest from you. It's very critical for this person to 
see if you are interested or not. Um, mm. Because if, if you don't give them any indicators of interest, then they may just leave you alone here. Okay, three of cups. Yeah, three of cups. Um, I'm going to clarify this three of cups because for one, I'm getting that they have this intention to meet up with you with the three of cups. Okay, they, they are going to flick you a text message or they are going to send you a message or in, invite you to perhaps meet up with them, catch up with them, maybe somewhere that is very comfortable for the both of you uh, to get to know each other. Again, I'm getting that this person is keen to explore this connection and see where it takes them. I feel like this person has romantic feelings for you. I just want to clarify the Three of Cups though, because I mean, the Three of Cups can mean many, 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 many things. Okay. Tell us more about this Three of Cups, Spirit. Why is the Three of Cups here with regards to this person's intentions? Oh, the Eight of Cups. Well, that was a spin, wasn't it? See, this person may have an intention here with the Three of Cups of just maybe hooking up with you. Maybe they have this intention of just becoming friends with benefits. Why do I say that? Because the Eight of Cups is here. So maybe this person has the intentions of hooking up with you, but then kind of just walking away from the connection. Yeah, exploring other options. Mm, okay, well, that, that is a totally different take and spin on it. That's why I wanted to clarify the Three of Cups. I didn't want to give you like false hope here. Um, I just had this feeling. You know, Eight of Cups doesn't make me feel good because especially with regard to this person's intentions because this is not sticking around, is it? All right, uh, what action will this person take towards Capricorn? What action will this person take towards Capricorn? No wonder you, you're coming through as the Queen of Pentacles. You're, you're, you're not already trusting this person because I feel like you've been down this road before. Maybe this could also be, sorry uh, Capricorn, it's a last minute message coming in. This could be someone that you turned your back on or walked away from also. Okay, maybe this person has attempted to connect with you several times. But they're trying very hard for this reconciliation. Okay, they're coming in with the Nine of Swords as their actions towards you. Okay, tell us more. Spirit, what is this person's actions? What action will they take towards Capricorn this week? What action will this person take towards Capricorn, the Hermit? What action will this person take towards Capricorn? The sun. Oh, that's interesting. We've got two major arcanas. We've got the hermit and the sun. The nine of swords. Hmm. Can we clarify, please? See, that sun card, that to me feels like the love bombing energy. Feels like the love bombing energy. I 
All right, let's clarify the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The star in reverse could be connecting to an Aquarius also. There is a real fear here that what this person wants won't manifest because the star card is in reverse. When the star card is in reverse, it's telling me here that this person doesn't feel overly optimistic about getting what they want here with you. Now, the other message that I'm getting here, and my intuition was pulling on this, especially with the star in reverse and the nine of swords, they may put on some kind of a pity play or pity performance to get you to maybe soften up to them or to feel sorry for them okay because we, we, we are asking what action will this person take towards you i can see here with the star card in reverse that they're going to try to be vulnerable here with you by opening up about something on an emotional level to get you to soften or get you to feel sorry for them okay why is the hermit card here they are going to try to with the hermit card take on a mature approach i am getting a mature energy oh my god look at this the nine of swords again twice now if this is someone you walked away from Okay, they're going to kind of like tell you here that they haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Uh, they haven't been able to move on. They're going to tell you with the Hermit card that they are available, that they haven't met anybody. That they've been depressed okay that they've been depressed and lonely without you again that's that pity party that's that pity play that they're going to play on you or um do to you say to you that's that pity party that pity play all right why is the sun card here why is the sun card here in this person's actions Two of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. It's very clear here to this person um, what they should do, okay? Which is with the Sun card, they are very clear and very sure and very certain that they should make you feel seen and validated um, make you feel supported uh, they want to give you clarity maybe they're coming in offering you clarity at this time like i said that to tell you things like I haven't been able to stop thinking about you uh, Capricorn since you left so they, they're coming in kind of sharing a vulnerable side that they haven't shared with you before to get you to feel connected to them to get you to open up to them so let's take a look and see how you're going to respond to this situation so spirit angels and guides, how is Capricorn going to respond to this situation this week? I'm going to continue working with the same deck. So spirit angels and guides, how is Capricorn going to respond to this situation this week? Tell us more. How is Capricorn going to, yeah, see, page of swords. You're, you're going to ask questions. This is a card of curiosity. This is someone who's got a lot of questions to ask 
you're curious to get to know what this person wants, what their intentions are. Like I said earlier, you're doing your homework. You're doing your due diligence. You are trying to qualify if this person is the real deal or not. That is how you're going to respond to this person. Mm. Because you don't have all the information available. You may even be spying on this person. You might be asking people around you questions in regards to this person. Like if you have shared networks, you might be going through these shared networks and saying, hey, do you know so-and-so? What do you know of them? Uh, trying to investigate and dig a little deeper to find out more about this person. You could be getting on their socials, you could be seeing if they're on dating sites, you could, you could be checking out to see if they are seeing someone else or if they're in a relationship. I just see you checking, this, checking up on this person, okay? I, I see that. Because why? Because you're sussing this person out. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. What is it that Capricorn needs to know when it comes to this person? Yeah, two of wands. You're, you're at this crossroad. You're clearly at this crossroad. Um, but when I look at this woman in this building, she is in her comfort zone, okay? She is in her comfort zone. She's behind the wall. She's thinking to herself, should she, you know, proceed forward on this connection she's thinking about it but I don't feel like you're going to leave your comfort zone for this person until you've done your homework on this person yeah you're not making a clear decision here just yet Mm. I just feel like with these two of wands, you're kind of just weighing up your options. I feel like you do desire this person, but you're not going to... You're not going to act on your desire so quickly. You're going to just take your time. Oops. I'll take the first card that I saw, which is the Three of Pentacles. I feel like with the Three of Pentacles... And the two of wands okay so you're clearly deciding here whether or not you should connect with this person meet up with this person okay I see the three of Pentacles here as a card of connection communication I'm just going to clarify. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is also, it's, an, it's a card of expansion. Like, do I want to get to know this person some more? Um, I'm just going to clarify. What's the Two of Wands here? Yeah, Seven of Swords, yeah. Yeah, there's something about this person that you don't trust. You don't trust them. Mm. Yeah, I'm just getting you don't trust this person. Why, why is the Three of Pentacles here? 
the emperor. So with the emperor here, I feel like you're definitely in control of this situation. Okay, you, you hold the trump cards. Um, it, it really is up to you, Capricorn. It, it's totally up to you whether or not you want to connect with this person or not. If you feel like this is someone that is worth getting to know more intimately. Um, but it's, it's, I feel like with the Emperor here, ultimately it's just, it's up to you whether this is something that you want to proceed forward on or not. Hmm. Because with the emperor, I'm just getting like this strict energy coming from you. You're saying, I don't know if I want to waste my time on getting to know this person. I don't know if I should waste my time. Because, you know, the emperor's got places to be, people to see, things to do. You know, he's busy building his empire. He can't waste time diddle-daddling with someone who possibly could be just trying to weasel their way into your life or just someone who is going to manipulate you or you know take from you you haven't got time for for that with the emperor so there's your reading capricorn i do hope that was insightful this is all i have for you at this time feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below let me know which part best resonated for you and i will see you in my next video bye capricorn